Hi there, um, I'm going through a massive learning curve at the moment um, having got my new metal turning lathe. Um, I've not done any metal turning before um, and I've played around with the lathe a little bit and one of the things I decided to do is to replace the screws that hold on the uh, gear cover because the screws that it comes with are just cap head screws or bolts that you need an allen key uh, to undo them with so I thought I'd um, have a go at making uh, a screw or a pair of screws that have got um, a knurl top on which you can sort of tighten and loosen with, uh, with your fingers and I've just made that Now that's the first time I've ever tried making a thread um, and I didn't actually turn it on the lathe but I used a die. So um, the, this video will cover the process of me making the second one. Um, now as you know I'm, I'm very new to uh, metal turning so uh, if anybody out there has got any suggestions <laughs> on how to do it properly uh, I'd very much appreciate it. We'll see you in a bit. So the uh, tools and materials I'm going to be using are here. So it's um, 3 eighths of an inch mild steel bar, um, a file, digital calipers, um, got a knurling tool there, a right hand knife tool, high speed steel, uh, another high speed steel tool um, which is a chamfering tool. Uh, there's a tin coated tool there that I'm just going to use for marking. There's an M5 die there in a holder. There's some cutting fluid and some brushes. Okay so I need to uh, turn this bar down to 5 millimeters in diameter before putting the thread on and um, I've decided just to turn it down to 5 millimeters down to that point to uh, maintain some stability. Uh, once I've done the thread I'll uh, continue and uh, do the rest of it to 5 millimeters. So um, I'll engage the feed and all my cuts will be um, 10 thou until I get uh, close to the uh, five millimeter that I'm looking for. So let's see how we get on. So the uh, cross slide is uh, zeroed. Everything nicely bolted down. This is on zero at the moment, but I'm just checking. Back it out, full turn. In a full turn, just 10 foul, and here's the three. actually. Okay so I've just sharpened the tool so see how we get on now.
third zone is 10. So we're looking for five millimeters and it's uh, 6.61 so that's uh, 1.6 to go so that's 0.8 point 0.8 which is four of these increments a point 0.1 so four eighths to 32 so 32 increments to go. Point nine eight. That'll do me. Okay, so I'm just going to put a chamfer on here. So I've switched the machine off at the power socket. I'm 
we'll see if we can get this die started. This is um, 9.5 and it needs to go down to 8.25 so that gives us uh, 1.25 to take off the diameter so that's uh, divided by 2.6 ish and 0.6 is 6 is 64 so it's 24 graduations on here so uh, we'll see if we can do this thing. Zero moving by ten. for the knurling. So I've not had a great amount of parting off success so what I'm going to do is just use this um, little uh, diamond tool just to create an indent and then I'll uh, cut it off with a hacksaw on the bench. decided to use this uh, other um, right hand tin tool um, for just tidying up the end.
that was an interesting little exercise and uh, great practice. Um, I got off to a, a fairly bad start, I think, because um, the uh, right hand knife tool, the uh, high speed steel tool, I think was a bit on the blunt side. Um, but once I realised that and uh, I gave it a bit of a sharpen, uh, it seemed to work a lot better. Never sharpened a um, high speed steel tool like that before, so uh, that was a bit of a learning experience as well. Um, however, I, I, I did think that the tin coated tools performed a bit better. Not sure why. Um, but the high speed steel tool seemed to, I don't know, suffer from a bit of chatter. Um, but maybe that's me. Anyway, uh, I'm really happy with the results. Um, they're not identical, but they're fairly close. Um, and I'm really happy with them. I hope you like them, and uh, I hope you like the video. So, see you later.